the real discoverer of mount everest radhanath sigdar to begin with let's understand how it all started so in 1767 survey of india was established and this was established during the british time and the idea was to trace the major areas of india where uh, natural resources can be found or the regions which were rich which could be exploited in future so this is the timeline of the major scientific developments which we have already covered in a separate lecture from this timeline we understand that in 1767 survey of india was established and the idea was to map the natural resources however later on in 1800 it was the survey which was conducted and this survey was conducted to map india using second hand instruments which were brought from britain this survey was known as the trigonometric survey of india however later after the defeat of marathas in the anglo maratha war whole of the territory south of satluj river went under the control of britishers as a result they started to expand their survey and later on in 1818 this survey was named as the great trigonometric survey and this great trigonometrical survey mapped india from south till the a uh, trans himalayan region and this was one of the major surveys which were done however this was not it it was during that time that in 1831 george Ever george everest who was the surveyor general of india was looking for a mathematician who was pioneer in the field of spherical trigonometry now he reached one of the uh, persons and he was john trittler john trittler uh, was the professor of mathematics at the hindu college now this hindu college was later renamed as presidency college calcutta and john trittler at that time recommended one of his students the name was radhanath sigdar radhanath was a unique mathematician and he was known among the two indians who read the isaac newton's principia and studied euclid's elements and therefore his works were remarkable now based on what he had studied he devised a new method to draw a common tangent to a two two circles and therefore his works for spherical trigonometry and his contributions to spherical trigonometry were very remarkable as a result george everest appointed radhanath sigdar as a indian mathematician and the post he was appointed to was called as computer the pay scale at that time was 30 rupees per month and radhanath sigdar started to work now george everest retired in 1843 after him he was succeeded by andrew scott walk so andrew scott walk continued the work and radhanath sigdar was initially uh, posted in the regions uh, of sionj and later on he moved and he was given a permanent position as a chief computer in kolkata now one of the missions that andrew scott walk involved him in was measuring the height of mountains he was a brilliant mathematician and he came to a conclusion that in 1852 kanchenjunga which was discovered was not the tallest mountain however he started to compile more data and he came to a conclusion that there is a peak which was known as peak 15 and this peak 15 has a height of somewhere around 29000 feet which was roughly 8839 meters now radhanath sigdar at that point said that this peak 15 is the highest point later on uh, there were verifications done and the interesting thing was that uh, 
एंड्रयू वॉक एंड्रयू स्कॉट वॉक कन्सिडर्ड दैट राधानाथ सिंगदर आर्बिटरली डिक्रीज द वैल्यू सो ही इंक्रीज टू फिट इन हिज कैलकुलेशन एंड दैट वॉज टू कंसिडर नॉट अ राउंडेड नंबर बट टू बी मोर प्रिसाइज एंड मोर एक्यूरेट ना what happened was later on the results were calculated and uh, in 1955 when the real height was calculated for mount everest it came very very close to it which was 29029 feet or 8848 meters this was the calculation which was obtained and it was believed that radhanath sigdar discovered the peak correctly however Andrew Scott Walk said that this is the tallest mountain ha- which has been discovered which is peak 15 and should be named after our surveyor general and the surveyor general was who the previous surveyor general was George Everest so Andrew Scott Walk said that this mount would be named after the uh, surveyor general of India and therefore it was known Uh, it was named as mount everest however the discovery and the whole calculations were done by radhanath sigdar so this is about one of uh, our young mathematicians uh, unknown name in uh, a less known name in the history but probably one of the major contributions which were done in the field of spherical trigonometry we would be covering many such remarkable india's contribution in science in the upcoming lectures stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead